two minutes of pleading and said they voted to do it. And I watched it on purpose because I knew that they I knew that they couldn't do that. They couldn't switch the account. Right. So. And there is a revised job description for the incidents that you okay. have raised. So But that's good. That's great. It that's is good. Solution, but, you know, right? I, we ought to have a situation where if you have questions, someone should send me an email and I can answer the questions. The ones that I can't answer that do represent perhaps something going wrong, uh, then I think it's appropriate for the board to make a public uh, statement. But, but in will, this case, uh, most of these, most of what you have here is not accurate. But the, well, no, that's not true. It's, it's accurate. And, and I will say, there's a job say description. That, there is a job description. Well, but you said it, that there isn't it. Well, it hasn't been voted on. It hasn't been changed. Right. Has, is it, is if you look at the yeah. new responsibilities of the town administrator, mm -hmm. it's the town administrator's responsibility, as I read it. Yeah. To do revisions of job descriptions. Okay. And I think this was sent out. By the way, this was sent out as just a memo to people. Right? We didn't actually we didn't actually request anything right up front. Uh, we copied you on it. We sent it, we sent it to Ken because the select board email. I did not receive. Yeah. I received but, it today at three thirty. Which is when I said, which I take full really? responsibility. Because I I really copied the receipt. Really? No, 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 that's for well, August eighth. For August eighth. So right. So, so things got bad. Things got messed up. That, Again, as I explained at the beginning of the meeting, it was sent to everyone. It just came to me. I didn't realize that it. it just came to me until our last board of select meeting, and it was again my error that I did not send it. I had I know that Bob had requested and said, why don't we put this off now? But even though it may seem like advisory board, um, just I'm trying I'm not trying not to downplay the advisory board or their attendance. It may seem like because we're on television and because we get tend to get more people in an advisory board meeting that this is like the public. But clearly the advisory board, I'm assuming, discuss these in open meetings. Yes. So all of these allegations yes. are already public. Every, They're every already day. out there. Every so I thought day. that, right, so even though we don't have the answers to every single situation and we did not notify the, you know, the Board of Health in advance that they, to, to give them time to post the meeting, which um, obviously they can do and are more than welcome to just let me know. I'm happy to put the, the agenda, uh, put the full board on the agenda. But because these, I don't call it because these concerns were already in the public, I thought that by waiting another two weeks to address many of these issues, because I mean we took care of almost all of them right right now, that by allowing them to simmer out in the public would just create this perception that like we didn't want to discuss it or when I again fully take full blame, hundred percent my fault, no one else's fault, um, that this email was not disseminated earlier, but that being the case, dealing with is what it is, I did want these kinds of concerns to be smoldering out there in the community and spreading, if there were ones that we could easily stamp out now, then we can take care of it. And then it's it's not an issue that we you know need to spend time on. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. I, I agree with you 100%, right? And that's why originally was sent out just in the form of questions right. to you guys. And that, you know, answers answers were just as good, right? The answers were just as good. And really, well, I, I, I will say you actually did respond to my thing when I sent it out. You did respond to it, so I know you got it. I know you get a million emails. I know you get a million emails. I know that. But I, I saw this, and I saw this for the first time. Too. Yeah, maybe you didn't see the attachment. Maybe, maybe when I sent the original email, you didn't see the attachment. I do recall that I was on the issue of the health issue. Yeah, and this was a pass. And, and maybe that's what happened. Right. Well, and, then, and what happened, so the issue was now. Um, <coughs> Being resolved. So the questions that are still out there, um, I'm sure that we will, um, any answer from the advisory board is that we will provide, we'll provide those. And then if there's still an outstanding issue, then that is, that is fine. Yes, Diana, do you want to? I have the issue with the Board of Health being overdone in one account in particular. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, it's my fault that it hasn't been cleared up. I just haven't gotten to the accountant because I am so busy. Right. Right. Straight. Right. Um, some of Phil's salary was posted to um, the Board of Health board members line item instead of his salary account. That's why that one shows in the negative. If he would bother to talk to the departments, it would have been easier so, to clear so, so that, that um, issue now too um, seems to be so if there's any, if there are any outstanding issues or concerns that the advisory board has, if you want to um, send them to Bob and then we'll move forward from there. Yeah. I mean, you're, you know, yeah. you're this over. Yeah. I will. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Can I, I, yeah, sure. I want to, I want to publicly say, can you say I 
spoke with you about and I spoke with Mike about it before the meeting. I think that your questions and your concerns as you presented them are reasonable and legitimate. My problem is that I saw this when I sent it. I right. saw this yeah. memo at four o'clock. Yeah. yeah. So there's not a whole lot of time there. And secondly, if, if we're gonna bring up issues about other departments, I think that as a matter of good manners, good business, we sh they should be afforded the opportunity to be here when those issues are discussed. Right. So that, that's why I, I did not want this to come up tonight. And I, I don't think that's unfair. I don't, I don't think that's unfair, John. I think that, you know, now that you are going to relay it to you, and you can decide if you bring other people together or, you know, it's just between us. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with that. You know, this maybe, maybe, this just kind of slips through. Maybe that's why, you know. I would like to point out this memo was sent out on August 8th. Right. Uh, so that's a, a full month. Um, yeah, and, and it, it still has the original data. Right. And we did get, for example, Mr. Morrison did provide some information in our last meeting to clarify some questions about the field. And I appreciated that very much. And I found it very useful. I mean, it, it wasn't a solution to the problem, but it was a recognition of the problem that did exist. And that was the same. Yeah, that, that, that's so there are other questions, and I agree with the point that that department head shouldn't be discussed because we have some questions that I don't want the Google Mill uh, to start rolling over this and that, and yet there are some very good questions there that really need clarification. Perhaps uh, to be by the office to discuss things so they're not aired. Oh yeah, no, like at this point, we crossed off some of the things that we had a concern, whatever um, you still have concerns with, um, let Mr. Merkel know, and he will um, provide the information that is available to him to answer those concerns. Again, it's my fault, I take 100% full responsibility for the um, delay, but, and again, I completely acknowledge what you're saying, but given the fact that this kind of is already out there, obviously, because this is all discussed in a public meeting, yeah. I thought it best to at least get out and not allow things. I mean, that's where we formulate some of the questions, right? Yeah. Right. So that yeah. 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 Right. So okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming, and we'll get those answers for you. Thank you. I believe um, that is the last item that we have on the agenda. Um, under Selectman's comments, I'm going to start, I'll start, uh, just so I don't forget. But two quick things, remember to vote tomorrow. Please someone remind me, I know it's all day voting because it's a state election, so it starts at 7? 7, okay, 7, 7 to 8 p.m., so you have 13 hours to vote. Um, everyone's anticipating record low turnout, so it's a pretty long time to um, So there are no town questions on the ballot tomorrow, um, but please go out and vote. Um, one uh, issue that I did have concerns that people sent me privately, um, and I just want to address, and I'm not, I'm not even going to mention who it was or what it was. Anytime anyone comes to your door for any reason, whether it's to sell Girl Scout cookies, give you political literature, give you religious literature, if you would like them to not come back again, it is your right as a property owner or uh, apartment op occupant to tell them, thank you but no thank you, please don't come back. That is completely your right, because I did um, get a couple private messages. I know I posted something publicly on Facebook. Whoever it is, whether it's politics, Girl Scouts, whatever it is, if you don't want someone to come back on your property, the best way to handle that is just to tell them, please don't come back. That's kind of trespassing. So, um, besides from that, those are my, my only uh, on Saturday, we'll be working again in East Templeton, so I'll post something. I'll send something to Hollywood.